We're halfway through the Sports Max Zone on this Wednesday and we're going to switch now to cricket. The Cricket West Indies on Wednesday confirmed a number of personal changes as the board revealed its decision not to renew the contracts of several selectors across the various West Indies teams, including Roland Butcher, Travis Dowlin and Robert Haynes. CWI's director of cricket, Miles Bascom, stressed the significance of the selection review process, which led to the men's selector, Butcher, women's team selector, Dowlin, and Haynes from the under-19 panel being rele released. Here's what Miles Bascom said. We are dedicated to refining our selection processes to better serve the needs of West Indies cricket. The ongoing evaluation and restructuring efforts are integral steps for, toward achieving this goal. Uh, the review has been planned to coincide with the end of the contracts of some selectors to enable a seamless transition. Now, the chief executive officer of CWI, Johnny Grave, in the meantime, said the board's commitment to continuous evolution as an organization resulted in the redistribution of other roles within its ranks, including that of commercial marketing and communications director, Dominic Warren, and me media and public relations manager, Philip Spooner. Yeah, and, uh, Johnny Graves said, we have concluded a thorough appraisal process resulting in the realignment of responsibilities of some of our team members. As part of this process, while some contracts have reached a natural conclusion, including those of Dominic Warren, commercial manager, commercial marketing and communicators director, and Philip Spooner, media and public relations manager, both individuals will continue supporting us in the extremely important year ahead in new roles working directly on the upcoming ICC Men's T20 World Cup and that will be in June. Now joining us via Zoom to assess this story is veteran cricket commentator Joseph Reds Pereira. Can we say Happy New Year to Reds and um, a man who has covered sport and West Indies cricket for over 50 years, born in Guyana and uh, based in St. Lucia. Reds, your, your take on, on, on this story which hit us late on Tuesday evening. Well, first of all, let me wish you and Mariah and Ricardo, um, who's absent, uh, a very good 2024 year with good health. And I hope Mariah's brought back a lot of goodies from Trinidad, butts up shirt, um, a, a lot of bub doubles. Uh, I, I'm sure she's got that to surprise you all maybe tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> I don't ever bring back food, Reds. It's one, it's not allowed in the airport, and two, I don't eat hot over food. Like, I need fresh food. <laughs> okay, well, make some for Lance and Ricardo. But, Reds, you never asked me if I could make roti. But uh, you were trying that, young girl. And now, back to the topic. Um, Lance, uh, your opening question. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your, your take on what has happened here, because um, it, it, from some angles, appears sudden. Yeah, sudden and surprise. Sudden and surprise. I'm going to ask you to go back to a statement you read from the CEO, uh, Johnny Graves. But uh, quickly I got in touch with Roland Butcher, the, the man probably uh, most affected. And um, he provided me some information which I shared with you uh, that um, doesn't really back uh, the view um, of the authorities that in any way or form uh, he did not um, uh, provide um, the, the, the right kind of, of decisions in, in the decision making. And uh, Roland points out that they won seven series in 2023 and one drawn. Now, if you are not uh, uh, carrying on a man's uh, contract, you would think that it's the opposite way around, that it was a very poor performance uh, by the team, and hence the selectors uh, must take some responsibility. That certainly was not the case, Lance, and I think I did pass on the information to you, and you, you would have read it uh, for yourself. Yeah, uh, there were some failures along the line, though, because the historic non-qualification for the 50 over World Cup would uh, have had a lot of impact as well on, on the cricket community in the Caribbean. 
But that was not in 2023, was it? Mm. And uh, I mean, they, they lost um, an ODI to India. And want to have some balance. They lost a test to South Africa. But I would think that seven uh, successes and one, 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 one draw doesn't indicate that the selectors in general, and Roland Butch in particular, um, did a, a very poor job. And, um, yeah, but know, the, the, the World Cup qualifying tournament was early in the year, wasn't it? Early in the, um, well, in, in the past year. And, and I just want to say that his contract had ended. Now, when we read closely the press release that the CWI put out this morning, um, there is a suggestion that a lot of things are being reviewed and the expectation that some things are going to be handled differently. Um, it may have been a skillful way on their part to communicate to the cricketing public that, you know, they're in the process of doing, of doing things differently. Um, but I'm not sure how to take that, Reds. Is, is it that, we, that the panel will be reduced or expanded or because there is a, a clear indication from the press release that at least in the immediate future, he will not be replaced? Well, I think they're, they're now forced to come up uh, with a new panel, because there's only one person in place, and that's the head, uh, the Honorable Desmond Haynes. When they're going to do that, I do not know, but uh, there is work to be done um, by the selectors uh, in, in, in a short while. I'm told that they did pick the white ball squad for Australia, so that is out of the way. But I just want to go back uh, before I further answer your question, um, we have concluded a thorough appraisal resulting in the realignment and responsibilities. Lance, question, when was that done? Was Butcher ever spoken to? Did he have a, an interview? Did he have a chance uh, to, 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 to interact with a committee, that committee? Who was the committee? And as a former West Indies respected uh, player asked me this afternoon, was the cricket c committee in, in, involved? But yes, Lance, they have to look at maybe changing what uh, Vice President then Dr. Shallow came up with, with a two-member um, panel. Uh, whether they will now widen that, we, we just have to wait and see. Um, they could, of course, um, provide the, the, the Darren Sami as coach um, with uh, more, more, more authority, as England did with Silverwood. But it didn't work in, 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 in the manner that they were hoping I had to change that. Uh, so we wait for a number of, a number of um, things to come out. For example, there is a director for the academy to, to, to be announced. And all the many people who have been moved on, uh, sometime you have to replace them. I mean, after the World Cup in June, um, according to what we hear, what we read, uh, there will be no more Roland Holder. There will be no um, Philip Spooner. There will be no Dominic Warren, who are, Warren, who are now, of course, uh, plying their trade with the, the ICC for the 2020 um, 2024 World Cup. So uh, many, many questions and not a lot of answers. Yeah, um, Reds, you are on record, to be fair, uh, as, as not a huge fan of the Kishore Shallow, Ricky Skerritt um, administration, which we have had for the past couple of, of, of cycles. Um, Based on some of the criticisms that you've 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 leveled on this program, uh, among them, but um, Shallow appears to be very busy, and and there appears to be some plan to do things differently. Is is, is this something good? Is this something that fans can feel encouraged by? I think when we are aware of the the the, the final picture. When we have the final information, we can then judge um, whether um, uh, it's in the benefit 
of the future of West Indies cricket. Right now, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of um, missing pieces in, in, in the puzzle. And uh, just to go back to what you said quite rightly, I have been critical previously of the uh, scared administration. And that goes back to changing selectors and changing the coaches after we had beaten England. And uh, I, I feel that um, there's not been enough information coming out on the board. Communication is very, very important. Um, who is doing what? When are you doing it? Um, what's happening with the cricket committee? Um, there, there are a lot of questions. There are more questions than answers now. Yeah, and, and Reds, Desmond Haynes' contract um, is, is up for renewal, I think, in the middle of, of this year. You are a man that follows these stories closely. Uh, from what you're gathering, do you think his contract will be renewed? I expect Desmond Haynes' contract to be renewed. I'm surprised that they did not extend Roland Butcher's um, contract to June, which um, would be a nice uniform to then make a decision on, on, on a form for the selection committee. I'm told that Anne John's contract is being extended to June, or it has always been in June, so they've got the decision uh, to make there. Um, but I expect directly to your question, uh, the Honorable Desmond Haynes to remain um, as the head yeah. of the selection committee. I expect a different selection committee, one maybe um, of, of, of a wider input um, from other ideas and mm. other views. Mm. Yeah, well, Rez, we, we have to leave it here, but I, I want to suggest that based on the pressure that Des Haynes has been under for some recent selection decisions. Um, a viewer may be questioning your backing of him having his contract renewed. Uh, and if, if that doesn't happen, are there any names that you can think of that could fill in this role? Well, <laughs> I can give you names, but are they available? Are they willing um, to, um, you know, drink the... Uh, the uh, the chalice wine, I, I, I'm not too sure. Um, but when you look, Lance, at other options in terms of a head selector, um, you know, we don't have a cupboard full of ex players who are willing, um, who can be asked. Uh, it's a, a very small number of people uh, that, um, that, that right now you can think about. Mm -hmm. I would like to believe that maybe Jeffrey Dujon has, has still got a, a role to play. I would like to see Leon Johnson be given some opportunity to be a head selector. I wouldn't be surprised if Lockhart Sebastian is, 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 is brought back into a, a possible selection panel. Uh, one of the questions I missed to, to raise is that many people have been asking, Lance, What's the backroom staff in Australia? Mm -hmm. We know that Coach Coley is there. We know that Jimmy Adams is, in fact, the batting coach. Uh, but, um, you know, who are they making, who, who make up the, the, the rest of the backroom staff? Mm -hmm. You know, those questions were, in fact, very much aware last night in the discussion in Barbados. And a lot of people said that they do not know, and I do not know when I ask your question. Lance, do you know the backroom staff in Australia? No, I don't. But hopefully by Thursday's show, we can uh, get some information on that and furnish our viewers with that, with that story. Yeah, so it, it, it would be good to try yeah. and ask a few more questions. Yeah, all right, Reds, we're going we're gonna to leave it there. Always a pleasure talking to you. And all the best for the remainder of the evening and 2024. The best wishes with Maria's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Reds, you're trying to set me up on the show, you know. <laughs> Thank you. I know your capabilities. I know your capabilities. Your mother would be proud of you. Yeah. And your sister. All right. Well, thank you, Reds, and all the best for 2024. I know we'll be chatting with you again very soon. Thank you. Take care. Break time. <laughs>